So I'm just uh, shooting a little bit of video here so you can uh, hear the audio for yourselves and uh, just focusing in on an old motherboard and uh, I think with some macro lenses get some really good quality close up video with this camera it shoots at 720p uh, 30 frames a second but the audio as you can probably hear you got that buzzing sound continuously and uh, the your actual voice it sounds like you're talking from the bottom of a bucket so uh, hopefully I can uh, improve on that by uh, using a uh, shotgun mic and adding an external jack to this camera so I've stripped the camera down I've got rid of the uh, lens cover and the strap and to remove the batteries etc out of it and uh, just looking around the camera it seems to be in two halves so you must pull apart like so and all the screws seem to be visible there don't seem to be any hidden screws at all so uh, I'm going to get straight in there remove all those screws and see how easy it will pull apart the um, first screw I'm going to remove is this screw here which seems to be holding the plastic cover down uh, with the holes in for the two onboard microphones so uh, I'm going to remove that first and then I'm going to go around the camera removing all these side screws so I've gone round and removed all the screws um, there is another screw just in there that I can see but I'm not going to remove that one just yet because I don't think I'm going to have to I'm hoping that all this back will pull away as is so uh, what I'm going to do is just use a little prising tool and work my way along and hopefully it should uh, come apart and there are no hidden screws so it's come away and um, while I was removing this I suspected that there might be a screw underneath this um, it's like a rubber pad where uh, you can put your thumb like so because uh, it was kind of being held in that area but uh, just need a little bit more pressure but um, it's come away quite easily and um, if uh, you do have a smashed LCD screen on one of these I must say uh, it will be quite easy to replace one of those as well seems quite simple the LCDs just hold down with a few Phillips screws and uh, a ribbon cable so that could be quite an easy repair in the future if that ever happens so looking here what we seem to have is we've got some a yellow and green wire going in here and a grey wire going to the two microphones because these are stereo microphones so I would say the grey is the ground and then you've got the uh, plus for the left and plus for the right but uh, we'll get in there and uh, see if that is the case so I was mistaken there there's a black wire here next to this grey wire I didn't see straight away and um, that's separate that's for the uh, left microphone so the yellow and green are just for the right microphone and the wires there's not a lot of uh, room for manoeuvring with these wires that's as far as I can pull this microphone out it's surrounded with this uh, rubber to try and give it some form of shock mount and possibly suppression from uh, the uh, zoom lens on here I uh, went ahead and removed these two two screws here that was uh, well I thought this screw is and I th also thought that uh, there was a Phillips screw here holding this down but it's not I thought um, they were holding the LCD down and it seemed to me that it would slide this way but it's not the LCD is just held in with uh, these metal tabs so it will just pop straight out and you can remove the screen here with a uh, ziff socket if you just lift that up now those should come straight out there like so so if you have to replace the LCD and um, that's quite a simple job really so now we've got that can off we can uh, see here a lot clearer the four wires that go to the two 
microphones, the two onboard microphones. So we've got uh, plenty of room to work around here. So it's not uh, too much of a hard soldering job, but I uh, have to be careful. You, you don't want to be applying too much heat for too long in a place like this, because the last thing you want to do is uh, damage the solder pads and then uh, basically your stuff. So sometimes when you actually open something up you can uh, change your mind from what uh, you originally had planned. Now originally what I was going to do is here's the camera, I was going to drill a hole through the top there and insert this little uh, audio plug and uh, have the input going in from the top sort of thing but when I've opened this camera up there's a lot of space in between the camera chassis and the actual motherboard and I've kind of changed my mind and what I want to do is possibly add uh, the input here on the side or possibly here um, on the bottom right near the end I haven't uh, made my mind up yet but I'm going to use one of these instead and it's uh, something I've salvaged from a laptop motherboard and also instead of removing these uh, microphones from the camera and drilling a hole where it's blatantly obvious, obvious I want to uh, now keep those in place now I doubt very much if I ever use the um, video function on this camera um, anywhere outside the workshop uh, it is poor but if I keep those in place and don't drill a hole from the top then obviously the camera from the outside looks as if it uh, has never been modified so going back to this audio jack that I've taken from a laptop motherboard it um, has got more inputs than uh, this standard stereo one that I've bought uh, from an electronics shop and the reason it's got more inputs is because when you plug headphones into a laptop what actually happens is the speakers on the laptop switch off and the audio starts coming through the headphones and again when you unplug the headphones the audio then starts um, coming through the uh, built-in speakers on the laptop so what I've got here is I'm using some LEDs to represent um, sound if you like and we've just got current running through at the moment and these two LEDs left and right are on at the minute they're sharing a common ground here and they've got the audio from different sides of the plug but this one I've just soldered on some LEDs to uh, the audio one audio two and common ground again and when I plug into this jack what happens is those two switch off and these two come on so if I can change the wiring on the camera and implement this jack plug on the side here somewhere when I plug my external microphone in it will automatically switch off these two microphones here so I'm not getting um, the poor audio mixed in with hopefully the good audio from the external microphone so what I'm wanting to do now is like I said leave those microphones in place but lead off here to uh, put in the external jack now I will have to still desolder these and put some new wires in and connect it all up in such a way that uh, these microphones will switch on when I don't have anything plugged in but uh, when something is plugged in they switch off so first thing I need to do is find which ones are ground now we can't really tell by the colours but if we get our multimeter and put it into continuity mode then these two wires here the green and the black are actually ground so I just wanted to show you where I'm at at the moment and what I've actually decided to do is put the jack plug for the input for the external microphone here on the bottom corner now that's not going to catch on the tripod or anything um, because I'm redesigning an actual holder for this and the microphone because there's no shoe on the top of this camera for me to uh, connect it onto so 
and redesigning a bracket for it to all fit together. So it's not going to catch in that corner there. I would have really liked to have put it on the side here, but just under here is the mechanism for the motor for the lens, and uh, it uh, there's not a lot of room there, and it might have uh, actually interfered with the motor. But here in the bottom corner, there's a big empty space. Now, at the moment, I'm uh, soldering all the wires up, and I've already done one for the microphone. I haven't connected the grounds up yet. And basically what I've got to do here is desolder this wire, this yellow wire here, and then I'm going to connect this wire, solder it onto the, directly onto the motherboard here, and then these two wires are going to be connected together with a little bit of heat shrink, like I've already done there with this one. Now as for soldering this, um, you definitely need some soldering skills and some experience to do this. It is small, um, not too difficult, but um, a good um, soldering iron with temperature control because um, this is really delicate here and the last thing we want to do is uh, burn off any solder pads. I'm just going to desolder this first. I've already tinned the end of this wire. Now what I'm going to do is solder these two wires together with a little bit of heat shrink. So for these two ground leads here I can just directly solder them onto these solder pads so they're connected up to the green and black ground wires here on this motherboard. So because I've got nowhere to attach the microphone to the actual uh, camera itself, I've made myself this adapter and I took two cheap uh, mini tabletop tripods here and I've took the tops off and I've fixed them to this metal bar here and I've also, on one of my spare tripods, I've taken the quick release shoe off and I've connected that to the bottom here so it's nice and solid and I could attach my camera here then I can attach the microphone here and put it on top of the tripod. So here is the camera on its uh, little bracket that I've made and it sits quite nicely on top of this tripod here and I can pan around with this tripod and the camera and the microphone move together so I'm really pleased the way this has turned out. It uh, didn't quite turn out the way I was going to start doing it but uh, it just shows that once you actually begin to take something apart you can uh, change your mind on how you're going to mod something when you actually see the internals of something so I hope you did enjoy this one but uh, it's time to test out that audio now and see if it's any better so here we are with the camera now that the uh, audio jack has been modded onto the base of it and I've got my shotgun microphone connected up and hopefully you can hear a marked improvement in the audio quality. I am really, really pleased with how this mod turned out. And this shotgun microphone, it's a uh, £20 one that I got off eBay. So it's not a very expensive one by any means, but uh, just doing this mod, I think you can tell it's a lot better than the onboard microphones that the camera was using previously. So, I mean, now I might start looking around for a better quality shotgun microphone to improve it even more. 
So here's the camera with the audio jack input on the bottom there. It's uh, turned out really well and uh, a lot better having it at the bottom there I think than uh, drilling a hole in the top. And if I ever do, uh, it means the onboard microphones in this camera still work so we haven't taken any away anything away from the original functionality of the camera at all. We've just added that uh, jack plug to give it some more functionality and improve the quality of the audio. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, if you did please give it a big thumbs up and feel free to ask any questions or drop any comments below and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I tend to release a video a week and they all tend to be around hacking and fixing and making things all normally around electronics but not everything. So uh, I'll leave it there and uh, I'll catch you next time.